Fitting an S30 door closer from Sparker, it comes with two fitting instructions. The one with the dotted lines on is the one for fitting on the push side of the door, so when you push the door open. The plain one comes for fitting on the pull side of the door, when you pull the door open or pull towards you. So today we're going to use the plain one. When you're fitting on the pull side of the door, you have the plain instruction. The black plain line fits between the door and the frame. So if you fasten it onto the door, it makes it easier for pilot drilling the holes, fixing screws for the arm into the frame and the body into the door itself. So the top line runs along between the door and the arm. The side line runs down where the hinges are. So there's the picture of the body. You can see which way around it is, with a pinion towards the hinge. The four fixing positions, that's the body in the door. And there's two fixing positions here for the arm. If you fasten the template on a little lower on the door, it helps to get the door closed, the body and the arm the right way round. So we've put the template on, it's numbered one, two, three, four, fixing instructions. Put the template on, and now fix the arm to the body. So there's the body. Fits that way around. The arm has a square drive. That fits at 90 degrees the door closer. So on the top at 90 like that. The fixing screw goes inside and fastens into the pinion. With the four long wood screws, you can fix through the body into those pre-drilled holes. The secondary arm has a long shoe plate. The long side goes towards the hinge and is fixed to the door frame. At the bottom of the plate is two fixing bolts. These are to be removed now so you can fix it together in place. So the long side of the shoe, long side of the shoe towards the hinge with the fixings into the door frame.
Now we need to open the door and make sure the two arms go into each other. Then re-close the door so the arms come together. In the top, there's two fixings that we've taken out previously. These need fixing in tight, but when you fix it in tight, that part of the arm, that needs to be 90 degrees from the door frame. So that secondary part of the arm, 90 degrees to the door frame. So just tightening both bolts, Nice and firm. Now the door closer should be ready to work. Straight from the factory settings, it'll work and want just minor adjustments. We have four valves on this door closer. Two are the main ones. The closing valve from 90 degree open to 15 degree and this latch valve which is from 15 degree to close. Now we've fitted the door closer, we can try it from 90 degrees open from to close position should be between five and seven seconds. The latch at the end can be adjusted. That's closing nicely. If you need to adjust it, the closing valve, you turn it clockwise to slow it down and anti-clockwise to increase it. And the latch valve on the end is the same. Closing clockwise to slow it down and anti-clockwise to increase it. Then you're ready to put the door closer cover on. The cover has two pop-out pieces, depending on which hand you're on. Take out the correct one that matches where the arm is. And then it has clips on the bottom to stop the vibration. Also, it has a fixing in the top if you want for extra security. And that is the door furniture finishes, apart from just the fired off clean shut signs or similar. So that's all the hardware fitted, including the fired off clean shut signs or appropriate signage. If you want any more help, please give us a call or visit our website. Thank you for watching.